Multiplying square roots together is actually a lot easier than it sounds. This is all you really have to do. You multiply the numbers that are on the outsides, the coefficients. You multiply together the numbers that are on the insides, the radicands. Then you simplify your answer. That's really all there is to it. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. We'll see how it's done. In our first example, we have 4 square roots of 2 times negative 5 square roots of 3. We multiply the coefficients, the outsides. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. And we multiply the numbers on the inside. 2 times 3 is 6. And so our answer is negative 20 square roots of 6. Now, in this case, I can't simplify that square root any. There are no perfect squares that go into 6. And so that's my final answer. It's really that easy. Let's take a look at example number 2. In example 2, we have the square root of 2 times 8 square roots of 2. Now remember, if there's no number written in front, it's automatically a 1. So when we multiply the outsides, we have 1 times 8, which is 8. And when we multiply the radicands, the inside numbers here, we have 2 times 2, which is 4. Now, let's simplify the radical. The square root of 4 is 2, so I have 8 times 2, which is 16. So the product, square root of 2 times 8 square roots of 2, is equal to 16. Example 3, we have 2 square roots of 3, and we have the whole thing squared. And remember, when we square something, we're multiplying it by itself twice. So this here is really equivalent to 2 square roots of 3 times 2 square roots of 3. Again, multiply the outsides, multiply the insides. Our coefficients are 2 times 2, which is 4. Our radicands are 3 times 3, which is 9. 4 times the square root of 9. Now let's see if we can simplify our radical. Well, the square root of 9 is 3. So we have 4 times 3, 4 times 3 is 12. Example number 4, let's take a look at that one. Example 4, we have the square root of 3 times the square root of 6. Once again, if there's no number written in front, it's automatically a 1. So we have 1 times 1, which is 1. Underneath the radicands here, we have 3 times 6, which is 18. So we have 1 square root of 18. Let's see if we can simplify this. Well, here's my list of perfect squares. 18 would be right there. 16, does that go into it evenly? No. 9, does that one? It sure does. 9 goes into 18 two times. And so I'll break down the square root of 18 to the square root of 9 and the square root of 2. Square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of 2 doesn't simplify. So I have 1 times 3, which is 3, square roots of 2. So the product of square root of 3 times the square root of 6, we got this here. And then once we simplified it, we ended up with 3 square roots of 2. On the next page in your packet is a blank page. I'd like for you to copy down this next example and then give it a try. 4 square roots of 12 times 5 square roots of 6. Remember, multiply the outsides, multiply the insides, and then simplify your final answer. Please pause here and give this example a try. Let's take a look at the answer. The outside, the coefficient, is 4 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20. The insides, the radicands, are 12 times 6. 12 times 6 is 72. Now, let's simplify that radical. 72 would be in my list of perfect squares right there. 64 does not go into it evenly. 49 does not. But 36 does. 36 times 2 gives me 72. And so I'm going to switch out that 72 with a 36 and a 2. Square root of 36 is 6. Square root of 2 doesn't simplify. 20 times 6 is 120. 120 square roots of 2. This is how you multiply square roots. That's everything you need to know.